The legendary Pokemon Dialga is returning to raid battles and of course this Pokemon is one of the best Pokemon to use in the Master League. So if you do not have yourself a really good Dialga then you will want to pay attention to this video. I'm going to be telling you how you can defeat this raid boss with the least number of trainers as possible and with the exact right counters. I'll also be covering how you could pick up its shiny form as well. So yeah, let's roll the intro and get right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new raid guide video. Today I'm going to be covering Dialga. Of course, in the past I made a Dialga raid guide video, but this is going to be more up to date with new counters. You will definitely want to pay attention to this because Dialga is a very difficult raid boss. It does have some really good stats and because of its type coverage, it's going to be very hard to defeat with just generic Pokemon. So you will want to use very specific counters counters and the reason for that is of course because Dialga is one of the best Pokemon to use in the Master League. So it's actually very good for you to pick up a really high IV Dialga to use in the Master League and to move ahead in that aspect of PvP. But it's not just PvP where Dialga excels, it is of course a very powerful raid DPS attacker. Of course compared to other Dragon type raid DPS it's not necessarily going to be the most powerful but it absolutely will put in a lot of work. I highly suggest that you pick up yourself a really good Dialga, especially now that its shiny form is going to be released. Of course, at the time that I recorded this video, Dialga's shiny form wasn't necessarily out yet, but after the Ultra Unlock for Pokemon Go Fest 2021, its shiny form was introduced into the game. So when you are watching this video, chances are Dialga's shiny form is something you can obtain, and I'm going to be covering how you could do that later on. But first, let's jump into the counters. First and foremost, Dialga is a steel type and a dragon type, which means it's going to resist other dragon types. It has that unique feature about it, considering that most dragon Dragon types, you will want to use other dragon types in order to defeat it. But when it comes to Dialga, that's actually a strategy that will not work. Instead, you will want to use Pokemon that are really strong against steel types, like fighting types and ground types, because those are the Pokemon that will actually defeat this boss with ease. So let's go over the best counters. First and foremost, let's talk about the good fighting types. There's of course the big three, Lucario, Conkeldor, and Machamp. Any combination of the these should be highly prioritized for your teams, but if you do not have good fighting types, then you can opt to go with really good ground types instead. These include Exadrill, Landorus, Terrian Form, as well as Groudon. Of course, these are all legendaries minus Exadrill, so if you want something that's a little bit more budget friendly, then I highly suggest you opt to go with fighting types instead. It's going to be extremely rare that you will ever come across a situation where a fighting type is not going to be any good against Dialga, so opt to default to a full team of fighting types instead of ground types. In the most ideal scenario, you will have a full team of Lucarios that are fully maxed out. That is of course because Lucario deals a ton of damage and it does have that steel typing, which means it's going to resist a lot of Dialga's moves, such as Metal Claw and Iron Head, which makes this particular Pokemon the ideal choice. And of course, it wasn't released at the time that I recorded this video, but Lucario actually does have a Mega Evolution, so later on, if you are facing Dialga with Mega Lucario released, that is definitely something you should use up against this boss. But in terms of Megas as they currently are, Lopunny is probably the best Mega that you can use considering that it does have that fighting type. Which means when you're going up against Dialga, it's best to start off with Mega Lopunny and then have a full team of Lucarios behind it. 
Now it's not just Lucario that will be very effective against Dialga, you could also opt to use Conkledor considering that Conkledor does have a lot of TDO, which means you will be able to survive longer in battle and deal just a lot more damage over time, and that is of course because Conkledor is able to survive. But if you're looking to defeat this boss with the least number of trainers as possible, as well as in a timely manner, then opt to go with the full team of Lucario. Now of course Lucario is is not an easy Pokemon to get, but there is one particular Pokemon that is easy to get, and that is of course Machamp. Now I highly think of Machamp as the poor man's Lucario. If you are in need of good fighting types, then Machamp is the way to go. Of course Machamp with Counter and Dynamic Punch is one of the best fighting types in the game, so you will want to opt to use that. Now if you want to DPS down Dialga even faster, then you could use some shadow Pokemon as well. At the time that I'm recording this video, these are the shadows that were available. Shadow Machamp is going to be really good, Shadow Hariyama, as well as Shadow Mamoswine and Poliwrath. All of these Pokemon are going to do a lot of damage against Dialga. Dialga's perfect IVs are going to come at a CP of 2307, and if it's weather boosted, it will be 2884. Of course, Dialga is a dragon type and a steel type, which means it's going to be weather boosted by windy weather as well as snowy weather. But of course, both of these weather boosts are extremely rare, so I would opt to go against Dialga when it is cloudy outside because that is going to give your fighting types a very hefty weather boost. And if it's sunny weather outside and it's clear, then you should go with a whole bunch of ground types or at least mix in a few ground types into your team. That is when I would bring out Exadrill because ground types with a weather boost usually deal quite a lot of damage and could be comparable to those fighting types. Now one of the core strengths of Dialga is its typing. The fact that it has the unique type combination of steel and dragon means it's going to resist a lot of different types. The one thing you do have to consider is that there are no double strengths against Dialga. It's not going to have a double weakness against any particular type, you will just want to use one that's going to be strong against Dialga without getting resisted by its dragon typing. Which means even though it is a steel type, you should not use any kind of fire Pokemon even if your recommended Pokemon list does include them. Now of course Dialga's shiny form is something that you could pick up in this raid and it is going to be very highly coveted. A lot of players will be looking for Shiny Dialga because it does have a unique coloration and it is one of those Pokemon that's going to be a huge flex in the Master League. If you want to pick up a Shiny Dialga, then yes, it will be available through raids at what I'm assuming is going to be the typical Shiny raid from raid battles, which I believe at the time that I'm recording this video is one out of 50. So if you want this, particular shiny, then make sure you are rating as much as you can. The overall amount of trainers that you need will be between about three to six trainers. That is, of course, if you are using general counters with very little bonuses and you and your teammates are at least level 40. But if you do want to challenge yourself, then yes, you can actually duo Dialga. It's just going to require a weather boost and a full team of shadow fighting type Pokemon as well as with a Megalopunny that is going to give you enough damage to actually two man this boss, but I highly suggest you go with at least four trainers total in your raid group. That means you and three other trainers. That should secure the win as long as all of you are at least level 40 and you have the right counters, but you should always assume that one or two people will be using the recommended Pokemon, and there is a tendency to throw in Pokemon that are not going to be as strong like Heatran and different things like that, so do keep that in mind. Make sure you are going with the absolute best setup up, assuming that all of your teammates are not going to be doing that. So yeah, there you have it everyone. This is my raid guide for Dialga. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you defeated this boss? Have you obtained its shiny form? Definitely let me know. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you found it to be helpful, make sure you share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. It's definitely going to help me out a lot. And of course, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon as well as Goozy Pins because they made the official Conchinsula pin. Make sure you don't miss out on any of that. Check out the links in the description below. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Conchinsula. Be safe, have fun, 
and I'll catch you all later.